just going to run you through a really nice simple rig. It's based on the very popular multi rig which is normally used um, or has been popularised as a pop up rig. Uh, it's kind of similar hooking principles to the hinge stiff rig in that you have that stiffer section down towards the hook but it's a little bit crude for some bottom bait uh, applications so what I've been playing with recently just to make the most out of a new hook pattern that we've come out the new um, extra strong continental muggers um, I've been trying to tie up a subtle version of it using a hook link material which we market as an abrasion leader but really it makes a superb little hook link material called Vigilante the 25 pound versions very very thin pure dynema so you need to rub a little bit of putty on it to make sure that it sinks well um, but it's got this kind of waxy coating on it that holds the filaments together and you can rub it out and it's almost like creating a skinned hook link a break in a skinned hook link it makes a supple section so I'll run you through a really simple rig which is kind of based on the, the Johnny Mac multi-rig principle so you start off with tying a loop knot about an inch long if you turn it rather than just one turn on your figure of eight knot turn it twice and it becomes about a figure of 16 and what you find is that that carries the load of the braided, braided, uh, braid in the knot much easier than the just the figure of eight because that extra turn in it makes it stronger. Pull it down tight. It's a lovely small neat knot because it's a low diameter, diameter braid. Trim off the excess. And what I do at this stage is I thread on just a little bit of the the thick walled half mil silicon that we sell in the covert range. You see it as the XT version. And what we'll do with that later is we'll just slide that up over the hook eye and it helps keep the uh, loop on the back of the hook in place. So that's what we've got so far. Literally it's just a loop on the end of the hook link material with a little bit of silicon tubing just pushed down. I've been using 10 hook with these because I'm just using it with a bit of enterprise corn or you can use it with a trim down bit of a pop up or whatever just so that it sinks down and the hook lies on the bottom and it's as simple as with the Johnny Mac rig push the hook link through the inside of the eye coming out towards the outside thread a large rig ring onto the piece of the hook link, onto the loop that's through and then pass that loop over the top of the hook. How I like to fish it is so that the top of the loop is about level with the barb. That way when the fish sucks in the pop-up or the, the bit of fake corn, the hook's going to go in with the bend first and leaving the point prone in the right position that when the hook link tightens or when the fish tries to eject it the point's going to take hold and then just slip that little bit of tubing over the eye I prefer to use the silicon rather than shrink tube because I think the shrink tube kind of like negates the whole point of the multi-rig being able to change your hooks easily whereas with a little bit of silicon it still kicks the hook link in at a really nice angle but it also means that when you come to change the, the hook for any reason say you've done the hook point playing a fish in um, then you've just got to slide the silicon down and the job's done Literally, that's the, the hooking end, that's the bit that counts really. I'll finish it off by working out about the length that I want it. Trimming off an extra couple of inches more and finishing it off with the same figure 16 loop knot on the other end. So, twist once, twist twice. This is when a braided hair needle is invaluable. Pull it through, lick it a little bit. and pull it down tight. Trim off the excess. And 
and that's the rig virtually ready to go. Um, to just uh, strip off a little bit of the waxy coating, just get your fingernails, pinch it just below the knot by the hook. And you see how the colour changes, it goes from being a, a dark brown to a pale patchy brown where you've stripped the coating away. Give it a little twist and it opens out all the fibres and then all you've got to do is rub a little bit of crystal mass putty on it. You can either do it as rabbit droppings or rub it along the length of it. I really prefer to rub it along the length of it because the rabbit droppings can sometimes cause a little bit of a tangle because they act as a hinge point whereas that what you'll find is you'll have a fast sinking hook link that won't tangle very easily especially when you've got a little PVA bag on it. Um, like I said I like to use it with a bit of fake corn. Well we were here on Bray's nose and they see an awful lot of bits of yellow in here so we've been feeding in loads of corn and been getting loads of bites so literally just a couple of overhead knots Secure it in place, trim off the excess, there you have it. Very, very effective rig that because of that little bit of silicon, the already aggressive angle on that mugger is exacerbated, it's increased and it just turns that much easier. It always catches as soon as that bit of silicon reaches the corner in the fish mouth, the very edge of the lip, the hook will turn over and the point will take a good firm hook hold. And if your point goes, you can always just swap it over. Easy peasy.